You can start whenever. Back in 1969, my parents, Al and Alice Anheuser, started uh, Bazaar under the name of Bazaar Factory Outlet. And they started in the old St. Charles Church in uh, Heartland. Uh, Heartland. 1969. 1969. And uh, they got the name uh, from their customers. He was in a church and he was selling fake fur and uh, pretty much making toys and everything, all kinds of templates. And uh, the, everybody came in and says, this is like a church bazaar. So he ended up calling it Bazaar Factory Outlet because back in 1969, factory outlet stores were big. And he used it that he thought it would give the customers an image of uh, good value at a low price. Then uh, uh, after after he, he started, he started in the old St. Charles Church, moved it to Wauwatosa, and then opened it up a place here in Waukesha and uh, continued to sell it. Them, and uh, uh, as in 1981, Cheryl and I uh, purchased and we changed the name to Bazaar Home Decorating because we got involved with more uh, decorating products, but back in 1981, uh, we did continue to sell a lot of fur because we were selling, and we did sell it pretty much nationwide for the Care Bears. All the colors and the Care Bears back in 80s were, were big. I don't know how many Care Bears there were. They constantly were introducing, they started with two Care Bears and then they introduced more and more members of their little Care Bear family. Also, um, back in that time, church bazaars were a big, big, big item. Weekend items going along with the church bazaar theme mm -hmm. that they had going. Right. So uh, if, after we purchased the bill, we purchased the company. Uh, we expanded quite a bit into decorating products. Uh, one of the th examples is Waverly fabrics and wall coverings were huge uh, back in the 80s and uh, we stocked uh, most uh, over 120 rolls of their fabric and 120 rolls of wallpaper and borders to match the fabric and with that it got us really going into other other areas and then I'll let Cheryl talk a little bit. We started to go down south to the mills back in the mid 80s. And uh, we started to purchase fabric directly from the mills. And, and we, we, we've got some very good pricing and we really expanded on our upholstery fabric and drapery fabric. And we had a lot of fun family vacations <laughs> going down and doing that. Uh, so it was it was a good time for all of us. Also, by going down to um, Carolina, North High Point, North Carolina, it uh, gave us the exposure to um, home interior products, the accessories, artwork, lamps, um, end tables, and then we also got introduced to. At one time, we did our own private line of furniture. Mm -hmm. um, upholstered pieces, sofas, chairs, rockers. Um, so we did that for a while too. We tried it to sell more fabric. <laughs> yep. And it worked. It got uh, exposure to our company. A lot more people came into Bazaar. Um, still today, we can run into customers' homes who have some of those original pieces of furniture that we sold back then. Yep. And then uh, in 1986, we moved Bazaar into our current location. And uh, we, when we did that, we had option to buy the building. And after three years of building our business here at the new location, we bought the building and that we currently are, are in. And with that, that's when we were able to expand into uh, furniture and, and accessories and everything else. So let's go back to, so uh, 